Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm back with another session of HTML tags. As we all remember that we covered few tags in the earlier session like a tag, image tag and I'm sure you all, you all are clear with the topic. Now today we're going to do two concepts which is list and tables, two very important parts of HTML. Now to begin with the list, what is a list? A list is a way to organize elements. When we talk about HTML, there are two ways of organizing the elements. One is with the ordered list and another is with the unordered list. Now why do we need two types of list when the purpose of both the types is same to organize the element? The reason is that in the ordered list, we organize elements according to priority. For example, if we need to define rules for a particular organization, what we do is we keep the topmost rule on the first number and then on second and so on. But if we are talking about a grocery shop list, we do not need to prioritize the elements. So we use or we, you know, we can use an unordered list. Here is the way with which you can easily identify that which kind of list do you want to use while using ordered or unordered list. So let's begin with the real work. We'll open our notepad file. So in the body tag, we'll begin with the unordered list. UL here specifies unordered list. Then comes the elements of the list which will be used, which will be displayed using li tag. li here is list item. So let's begin with a simple list of names. Here I go with the first name. Once I have written the element I need to close the li tag and then I move on to the next item. I close the li tag then the third and that's it. Let's just end our list here and see what is the result. We close the ul tag, save the document and here we go. Perfect. So here we have the list wherein you can see the bullets. Why? Because we have used an unordered list. Unordered list by default uses bullets And now we move on to the ordered list. So here we go. We begin with OL tag. OL tag here specifies ordered list. Then the first item. Let's just use the same elements in the ordered list. Here we go with the first element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to copy this to save my time. And here you go. We end the OL tag. Save it. Refresh and ta -da. So now you can see that this is ordered list wherein the numbers are being displayed. 1, 2, 3. Now you must be wondering that do we have just two options like bullets and numbers? No, we have different options. We can use different kinds of design in unordered list like images, square bullets, disk and in ordered list we can use Roman numbers, alphabets but these all types can be specified in CSS not in HTML. So you got to wait for that. So this is how we make ordered and unordered lists in HTML. I hope this is clear. Now let's move on to the table. Table is a very important part of HTML because most of the times we use tables to make layouts also and it is used to display data in a very organized manner. So we actually need to know that how do we make a table. To make a table, we need to understand what is a table. A table is a combination of rows and columns and the intersection of rows and columns creates an area which is called cell. Now this cell is used to display the data. Now we need to decide 
how many columns and rows do we want rows are horizontal and columns are vertical so let's suppose i'm going to i need a table which has three rows and three columns so what i'm going to do is i'm going to begin with table tag since we are making a table and then i'll start making the table with the first row using tr tag tr here specifies table row now keep one thing in mind that whenever you are designing a table you need to design it row wise first you will make the first row then the second then third and so on so we are making the first row and since i said that it's going to be a three column table so we'll be using three cells and cell is represented by td table data let's take a simple example move on to the second td write the data close the td move on to the third td write the data and close the td simple and then we close the tr so here we are done with the first row similarly when you want to make your second row you need to use the same tags the only thing which is going to change is your data and here we are done with the second row let's move on to the third and done now i'm going to end the table which is very very important as i told you that every tag needs to be closed otherwise it will create a problem for us and then we save the file and here we go it's our first table now you might be wondering that why don't we see the border or the lines which are actually seen in a table the reason is that by default html does not display the border so we need to use the border property to see the border so what i'm going to do is in the table tag use the property called border and specify its value depending on the width i want of the border so i've given it 2 i refresh and see the border now one more thing which is surprising me here is that we can see some space between the cells right as you all can also see so why do we have this space the space is due to the property which is called cell spacing which creates space between every cell on the left right top and bottom by default the cell spacing in table is 1 since we don't need the spell cell spacing we'll give it 0 Now let me show you what happens. See, so the space has gone, and since we have a very limited space between the data and the border of the cell, we need to increase that. For that, the property which will be used is cell padding. By default, it is zero. We'll give it some number. Let's say ten. Now this ten is going to create space on all four sides, top. bottom left and right so our table looks much better now and we are done with the first table of three columns and three rows now next time when we meet we are going to do a more complex table and understand how it is done so till then keep practicing and see ya bye bye